Breaking news, Joe Biden drops out of the presidential race. Praise the living God. That's what I'm gonna say. Saints, this is Brian, Love Has A Name YouTube channel. And I hope you can hear me. I apologize if uh, you can't really. I might have to get a little close to my phone. I don't have my mic. Um, I'm, I was actually just out with my mom and I checked the news and this is what's happening. And so I wanna quickly update you. Later on, I'll talk a little bit more about it because the Lord had been giving you revelation and a download he shared with me, which I shared with you over the last week and a half, pointing to something that was going to happen yesterday. A prophetic cycle ended yesterday on Saturday, July the 20th. Today is the first day of the next prophetic cycle. And so, I'm not going to get into it right now, but the Lord was giving us, his people, just like many of his servants, the prophets, prophetic people, etc. He gives us the sensing of something that's going to happen. We don't always understand what it is, what it entails, how much. We all are just given a part, all right? So I want to let you know what's going on. And so today, right now, literally, it is 2.57 p.m. Eastern Time, Sunday, July 21st. Notice the date, 21st, 21, divided by seven is three, right? You got triple seven, 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 seven equals 21. And we're in the seventh month. That's four consecutive sevens right there. Praise the Lord. So let me read you what this article says. <coughs> and uh, yeah, let's get with it, amen? Praise the Lord, saints. All right, so it says here, I'm reading from the Gateway Pundit. It says, there are certain words I'm not going to use. For example, uh, Biden, I'm never, ever, and never have I even once spoken that title that the world has been given to him because he didn't get it from heaven. Heaven does not acknowledge, has never acknowledged that title for him. So that's that, all right? So I'm reading to you from the Gateway Pundit. It says, Joe Biden drops out of presidential race. Okay, it's breaking. So let me read you what it says so you are informed. Hallelujah. Joe Biden dropped out of the presidential race on Sunday. That would be today. Hallelujah. <laughs> Biden released the following statement. I was going to say garbage, but hey, let's see what it says. My fellow Americans, over the past three and a half years, look at that. Let me pause. You see that? The Lord just made him, out of his own mouth, speak forth the prophetic cycle that just ended. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Over the past three and a half years, he says, we have made great progress as a nation. First of all, he's a liar like the devil. There's been no progress. And if there's been anything good, it hasn't been because he's been involved. Period. All right. Let's get that straight. Today, he says, America has the strongest economy in the world. He's a liar again because... He's the heat on mess things up, but God's going to fix it up. He says, we've made historic investments in rebuilding our nation, in lowering prescription drug costs for seniors and expanding affordable health care to a record number of Americans. We've provided critically needed care to a million veterans exposed to toxic substances past the first gun safety laws in 30 years. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Mr. Liar is going on, but I'm just letting you know what he said, all right? Appointed the first African-American woman to the Supreme Court and passed the most significant climate legislation in the history of the world. America has never been better positioned to lead than we are today. Let me pause there. We're in a, in a great position because of the news of him dropping out, okay? Yeah, yeah, that, that's where we're, at, where we're at, okay? But yes, there's, gonna, there's more news I got to share with you guys, all right? And even though the enemy has still a couple things he's doing in desperation and absolute sheer panic because he knows he, it's over, the jig is over. That's what I hear. The jig is over. Lord, I don't even talk like that. Anyway, let me keep going. Can you tell I'm full of the joy? Full of joy of the Lord here? <laughs> All right. He says, I know none of this could have been done without you, the American people. Together, we overcame a once in a century uh, let me change the word here, pandemic and the worst economic crisis uh, because of you, Biden, okay? Since the Great Depression, we've protected and preserved our democracy. I'll bite my tongue on that comment, Lord. <laughs> and we've revitalized and strengthened our alliances around the world. It has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your whatever. I ain't given him that title, all right? 
and he says, and while it has been my intention to seek re-selection, let me say that, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling, fulfilling my duties as whatever for the remainder of my term. <laughs> he hasn't fulfilled his duties anyway. So yeah, we're just gonna ignore that like most of this letter. And he says, I will speak to the nation later this week in more detail about my decision. Wow. Uh, I'm pausing there because yesterday I was meditating and I received some spiritual intel from the Lord and I'm trying to, I'm reminding, reminding myself of that. The Lord is reminding me rather as I'm reading this. And I feel the Lord, what, what I was hearing him tell me yesterday while I was meditating <coughs> was that July is not over. There is a lot more that is going to be shocking. Now again, this is just what he's given me in part. He didn't tell me what it's going to be per se. <coughs> I have some thoughts that I wrote down in my notes. I don't know 100% if that's what the Lord was saying, but I just put it there just in case, okay? We're all uh, growing in our call, in our gifting uh, from the Lord, of course. And so I'm just gonna leave it at that for the moment. But the Lord reminded me of Kim Clement's prophetic word, strange July, strange July. And I feel the Lord was saying, it's about to get stranger. Meaning he's not done with July. And we haven't really seen the culmination of what he meant by strange July. All right, back to this uh, letter. Let's see. Biden says, <clears throat> he just said, I will speak to the nation later this week in more detail about my decision. For now, let me express my deepest gratitude to all those who have worked so hard to see me reselected. I want to thank my, I'm going to say VP, just, you know, Kamala Word Salad Harris, uh, Word Salad Harris, for being an extraordinary, extraordinary partner in all this work. And let me express my heartfelt appreciation to the American people for the faith and trust you have placed in me. Let me just pause right there. Biden, no sane person has ever put any faith or trust in you. Okay, period. We put our faith and trust in God and the Lord has allowed you because of your rebelliousness to the faith to run amok and you in your ambition because you seek to have that title because of whatever it is that happened to you in your past and so forth, whatever. The Lord allowed this for his purposes, but you are out and thank God for that. And let me continue. Oh, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the blood. Okay, he says, I believe today what I always have, that there is nothing America can't do when we do it together. Yeah. We just have to remember, we are the United States of America. Yeah, we're... Sorry about that. <laughs> we're all united against you. And a united Biden in agreement that you need to go. Okay, that's where the unity lies here. All right. Let's see, what else did he say? Da, 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 da. Okay, that, what, that was it. But, don't go nowhere yet, but I just saw some more breaking news. I haven't even read it to myself yet, saints. So let me look. This next article I'm reading for you, holy cannoli. It says, political earthquake, Joe Biden endorses Kamala Harris. Oh, Lord. Okay, <clears throat> it reads, Joe Biden officially dropped out of the 2024 presidential race on Sunday. That would be today. That's why we're here rejoicing. About 30 minutes later, he endorsed Kamala Harris. That's hilarious. Okay, I wonder what, what they had to have him drink to say that. Because uh, even he didn't want that. And nobody wants her there except she herself. Okay. Okay, let me see. Uh, let me skim through here. Okay, he says, my fellow Democrats, I have decided to accept the nomination and to focus all my energies on my duties as for the remainder of my term. My very first decision as the party nominee in 2020 was to pick Kamala as my VP. And it's been the best decision I've made. Well, that should tell you about where his brain's at. If that he think that was a good decision. <laughs> And he says, today I want to offer my full support and endorsement for Kamala to be the nominee of our party this year. 
Democrats, it's time to come together and beat Trump. That's the funniest thing. Yeah, you ain't, that ain't gonna happen. He says, let's do this, Biden said on X. <laughs> okay, let me skip down here. Okay, it says here, on Thursday, that was last week, the Gateway Pundit reported Biden was likely going to drop out Sunday. Hmm, interesting. And he did. The, the article reads, and he did. Mark Halperin reported Joe Biden is going to drop out of the race 2020, uh, of 2024 as early as Sunday. Let me pause here, Saints, okay? Even though whoever this person is, Mark Halperin, um, oh, that's interesting. Mark, Mark, oh, that might be a clue to a, a dream encounter I had a couple days ago. Wow, okay. <clears throat> so, even though this was reported Sunday, you all have it. It's on here on YouTube. I shared it on my Telegram. I even shared it on Rumble. And I think, I think, I shared it on Instagram. I'm not sure <coughs> where the Lord had given me that download that there is a prophetic cycle that was about to end, okay? You all going to want to go and watch that video if you haven't just yet, but I'll give you a quick recap. For all of a sudden, the Lord quickened me of the day of the inauguration of Biden, okay, which occurred on January 20th, 2021, okay, <clears throat> there is a prophetic cycle in scripture, it's written about in the book of Daniel, it alludes to the tribulation period, um, the Lord talks about it, I believe in Matthew 24, if I'm not mistaken, and remember, Jesus himself had a ministry that lasted three and a half years, okay, three months, sorry, three years, six months. So now let's take that revelation and overlay it beginning on the day of inauguration of Biden. And that began on January 20th, 2021. Okay, let's do the math class. 2022. Okay, January 20th, 2022. One year. 2023, two years. 2024, three years. And now let's add six months. February 20th, March, April, May, June, July. Six months. What date? The 20th. When was that? Yesterday. So, when the Lord gave me this revelation about a week and a half ago, the only thing that I got that was clear in terms of understanding, <coughs> spiritual understanding, was that a prophetic cycle of three years and six months was about to end. All right? So I'm not here to say, oh, God told me this and now what happened. I don't care because, first of all, it's not about me. And if I'm trying to prove myself, I would not be a servant of the Lord. I refuse to be one of those people. There are plenty of those in the church. I will not be a part of that. Never. Okay? The Lord is the one who gets all glory. <coughs> and if there's any revelation, download, inspiration, impression, dream, vision, encounter, etc. that I've received... Well, it's just that. I have received it, meaning I am not the source. God Almighty, through Jesus Christ, by the Holy Spirit, is the source. And this is the type of believer that the Lord needs, all right? I'm not perfect. None of us are. But he loves humility, and he loves when his glory is given to him. And one doesn't take his glory. All right? So, now let's go ahead to a couple days ago. I can't remember when, but I believe it was Thursday where I woke up with a spiritual impression that the next two days, now I was still halfway, half awake, half asleep because I went back to sleep. I was in and out. And I had this spiritual impression, this awareness, this knowing that the next two days, the 19th, the 20th, which was uh, Friday and Saturday, yesterday, that they were going to be very important and a person popped into my mind as I was halfway awake and asleep and that person was Kamala, Okay. Now, as of yet, we haven't heard of, of what was happening Friday, Saturday, but it's pretty obvious that the Dems and the people who are afraid that they're losing power, because they are, because God's, it's God's time now, that they have been conspiring and talking about this whole thing of Kamala, which we are just reading now, all right? So praise the Lord. Look at how he works. I share the process and all these details, which some people will say is just blabbering. That's because 
of ignorance and you don't understand the process nor do you respect nor want to learn and that's fine this channel is not for you so you can go somewhere else but this channel is for mature people who want to learn about God who want to learn their authority who wants to learn how to exercise it how to be kings and priests in the kingdom of God how to love people how to grow closer to God how to walk with God in the supernatural and how to just rejoice and understand God's ways hallelujah okay now let's go back to the article let's finish it up but that right there was important okay let me know if you're enjoying this hit the like while you're at it guys and make sure you share this video all right okay let's finish up the article it says here uh mark halperin said there will be an open convention with kamala whoa <coughs> harris and about three others oh yeah how convenient he floated a couple of potential running mates for harris kentucky governor Andy Bashir and Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro. Okay, interesting. Uh, let me look here. They, they inserted a screenshot of X. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, skipping, skipping, skipping. Thank you for bearing with me. Okay, that was the end of that article. But wait, there's more. There's another article, and it's probably going to be the best one we've read so far. Trump reacts to Joe Biden's withdrawal from the presidential race. As of 1.38 p.m., according to the Gateway Pundit, let's read what Trump said. All right. It says here, Joe Biden announced Sunday his decision to withdraw from the presidential race. DJT, Trump, wasted no time in criticizing Biden, portraying his departure as an admission of failure and deceit. His announcement, Biden listed in his announcement, he says, Biden listed numerous so-called achievements of his regime, <clears throat> claiming to have bolstered the economy, enhanced health care, and passed significant climate legislation. It has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your, Biden said, asserting that his decision to not seek re-election, oops, re-selection, was in the nation's best interest. And it says, quote, I know none of this could have been done without you, the American people. Together, we overcame a once in a century pandemic and the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. We've protected the, and preserved our democracy and we've revitalized and strengthened our alliances around the world, said Biden. Biden, be gone. That's what I say. All right. Now it says this. Uh, let me see here. Oh, sorry. They're just quoting what he said before. Now, Trump. Okay, Trump says this. However, this narrative was sharply contested by Trump. Taking to his social media platform, Truth Social, Trump delivered a blistering critique of Biden's term. Let's just call it term, all right? He says this. Crooked Joe Biden was not fit to run for the title, the term, and is certainly not fit to serve. Amen to that. And never was, he says. He only attained the position of, the term, by lies, ooh, fake news, true, and not leaving his basement, Trump said. All those around him, including his doctor and the media, knew that he wasn't capable of being, P, and he wasn't. And now, look what he's done to our country, with millions of people coming across the border, totally unchecked and unvetted, many from prisons, mental institutions, and record numbers of terrorists. We will suffer greatly because of this term, but we will remedy the damage he has done very quickly. Make America great again. Saints, let me pause here for a second. I know Trump said this. He says, we will suffer greatly. I'm going to speak as a, as a king and priest unto my God, and I cancel those words, Father, before your presence in the name of Jesus. There has been a, little, a lot of suffering, Father. It has already passed. But I decree and declare, Lord God, that there shall not be any unnecessary ripples or effects upon the people of God in Jesus name amen now we know many of you may not believe it but those of you who have eyes to see and ears to hear already know this Trump is already saved he is already born again but he has simply been a new believer for a while now when I say new I mean what others would call baby Christian listen don't, don't critique or criticize what you don't understand. If God hasn't spoken to you directly on the subject, your mouth should be shut. 
That's not my opinion. That is just absolute, clear as day, common sense wisdom. If you know God and his ways, you know what Proverbs says, you know what the book of James says, you just know. You fear God and you don't go around pointing fingers, gossiping, criticizing, talking about people. If God has said it and he's, a, he's releasing you to speak it because you're a, of a selected, chosen to be a mouthpiece to relay his message, then you do so. Okay? Obviously, with Biden dropping out, may he find repentance okay this is my prayer so you hear me clearly because you might think oh but you're bashing biden you got to be blind as anything to not see what i what most of us are already pointing out seriously are you in denial or is are you so blind with hatred against trump because of the lies you've heard because you won't do anything but listen to the lime stream lamestream media and such why don't you go to God? Is it because you don't have the faith to believe he'll speak to you? Because in reality, he wants to. In fact, he probably has been. But you're exalting your own opinions higher than God. Amen? Hopefully that's not it, alright? Let's see if Trump said anything else. Okay, he has not said anything else. So, that is that. Alright, Saints, sorry. Um, I cut off the camera by mistake. But nonetheless, let me just end this video here. This is the breaking news. You heard it, hopefully first, here at Love Has A Name YouTube channel. And if not, no biggie. But I wanted to give you this. I simply read you, to you the articles. Go check it out on the Gateway Pundit or uh, another conservative news network. Stay away from the lies and the, the demonic frequencies from other networks. That's part of the problem. Why don't you do something about it? If, if you're watching this and all you do is watch the negative, I'm trying to help you out here. Go watch from NTD News. Go watch from the Epoch Times or read it from the Gateway Pundit. They now have it in Spanish, by the way. Look it up. Google it. Share it with your with your Spanish friends. And um, let's see. Newsmax, you could probably check it out. Um, and from time to time, you can find some good stuff here on, uh, on even on Fox News. All right. Just use your discernment. Don't, get mad. don't tell me what you do or don't watch. Just do what you got to do to stay close to the Lord and to stay up to date with the truth. Not those that try to bend your mind to believe what they want you to believe, but rather to those who report and allow you the freedom to choose to believe it or not. Research it yourself, etc., etc., etc. All right, saints. Praise the Lord. The Lord is doing it, all right? Now, you better believe <laughs> there's going to be some more crazy breaking shocking news coming up i can't put my finger on it but i'm feeling it again watch this week again through the end of july they're not done plotting and scheming all right there are even reports i have not verified this but i want to put it out there that miss killary blinton yes i said the name wrong on purpose don't correct me killary blinton is who they are considering to go up against Trump in 2024, November. Okay? I guess we'll see what happens. I guess she just wants to lose a second time. And I'm telling you, in the spiritual realm, that woman is dark. Yes, she has a soul, and God loves her, and God wants her to be saved. But that woman willingly does evil. So, Remember what Kim Clement prophesied. They will do their best to put a witch in the White House. But the Lord said, but it shall never be. It shall never happen. All right. Hopefully I, uh, hopefully I said that correctly. All right. Feel free to put the right words if you have the right words down below. I'm okay with that. So comment below and like the video and share the video. And of course, subscribe because as I'm hearing Whatever the Lord is sharing with me, I will come share with you and I will teach you as I do. That's part of my gift. All right. If you don't enjoy the explanation, you think I repeat too much. I love you. God bless you. Go somewhere else. All right. This is for those who understand. If you resonate with the frequency of the anointing of God through me, then hang out, be subscribed, interact, and I love you. And if you don't resonate, it may not just be, it may not be your season to be listening through me or maybe you're just not part of those who are supposed to listen to me 
and that is okay. I pray the Lord bless you and heal you and deliver you and be with you always. And I pray you grow in Jesus' name. But it may not be through here. And that's all right. All right. So praise the Lord. Saints, I pray this has blessed you. You've enjoyed it. Check out that join button down below if you appreciate the content that I give you, even while working a full-time job. Then go ahead and consider becoming a channel member. And if you don't want to, that is okay as well. Amen. <laughs> the Lord bless you, saints. Uh, share this on your social medias and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye-bye.